Hey guys, what's up? I uh, got another controller layout thing here. Uh, I wanted to show how my emulation station uh, control scheme is set up. So I'm gonna go into emulation station. The problem that I have is up to Genesis, we're good, right? With control schemes. Atari, not enough buttons to matter. Uh, with, with 2600 um, the Genesis it's a little wonky sometimes but it's fine there's not enough buttons uh, Super Nintendo regular Nintendo map perfectly Game Boy Max maps perfectly but when we get to N64 uh, things start to get complicated because I only have two hands not three GameCube again a little bit complicated we things get really out of hand and so those uh, N64, Wii, and GameCube kind of demand their own controller setup. Okay, so now we're into a GameCube game, right? Uh, I'm going to hit my stick, and you see I've got a wheel here. So, all right, so here's our wheel. It's on touch, on the touchpad. Uh, so I have close game, which will close a game. I've got load which will load a game. Uh, I can also open the RetroArch menu. So this would be like your normal desktop menu for RetroArch if you wanted to adjust something in there or get onto a NetPlay game. Fast forward, again, RetroArch or if the game, if the other platform supports it. And then we get down here, uh, which is really hard to see with this yellow text, but I've got retro controls. So this is all my retro games. Right now I think N64 is in that. I have GameCube controls, so purple joystick. And then I have Wii controls kind of in the Wii uh, color. Uh, so you can click that. And what that does is it triggers an action layer shift. You can see I have my retro control scheme, my Wii control, and my GameCube control. I'm going to show you how I have it set up here. So let's go back into the controller settings and we'll look and edit layout. Uh, so first you can see we have multiple action sets set up if you want to know about action sets I have a little video about how to set those up uh, that you can check out. Let's go up to the trackpad and left track Left trackpad behavior you could see is retro arc now that retro arc is a virtual menu So if you go to virtual menus right here uh, You can add a virtual menu. This is the one that I have set up um, I'm just going to duplicate it and let's call it test okay so now let's edit this and you'll see we're in the radial menu settings so you can see here all the commands so menu type is a radial menu uh, no center button because i don't want to accidentally trigger it and uh, i'll show you why here in a second so select and y is your menu button the retro arc menu uh, and then fast forward select and right trigger we control uh, is just to change the action set, action set. So this isn't a button string, it's an action set change, uh, just like in the action set video. Um, close game is select and start. Select and left bumper will do a load, so that'll load your last state. Uh, select and right bumper will save your current state. And then let's go to our trackpad. So you can see uh, left trackpad, again, is retro art. When I let off, it just selects which one it is. So that is that. Thanks for watching.